Alright, welcome back to another windy day. So, I'm taking care of a couple little things here for an experiment. So, stick around and see what happens. Okay, so earlier in the series, you saw me put in the bigger injectors, and to do that and run standard gasoline, you'd have to go and retune, and tunes for the Tiburon aren't very fun and easy to come by, so you'd have to come up with something like the piggyback style. There is one company where Next Generation, where I got the supercharger from, they're part of another company out in Puerto Rico and supposedly they can program a computer but it'll be something from a 2003 to 2005 and I'm not too sure what that would affect in a 2007 so essentially what my thought process was is if I put in a 30 to 40 percent bigger injector and then ran E85 which requires 30 percent more fuel that it should even out. Now, I've got no clue how it's actually going to work, so I may end up having to switch back to the old injectors and run standard gas until I get a tuner, or it might just work just fine with the E85. That's where I drain the fuel tank and load it up with just five gallons of the E85, so in case I have to switch back, I can just get 10 gallons of non-ethanol to dump in there and voila. So let's give this thing a fire up and let it get a taste of it and see how it actually works. about a 15 AFR, which isn't too bad. They probably run it pretty lean uh, for idle, not much to worry about. But during the run around there, it stayed pretty consistent in the uh, 14 area, plus or minus, whatever. So I think it's kind of taken to the ethanol here. Idle's come down to a little more smooth. I've got the throttle body, uh, kind of got the throttle body adjusted a little bit further open, so as it comes down out of the RPM range, it catches a little bit, and then the IAC idle controller lets it idle back down. Because we were running into an issue where when you'd let off, it'd get really rich and kill it. So it'd just come down really hard and just go right past it. Also with that flywheel, kind of adds to that whole thing because uh, it expects it to slow down a little bit slower. And it'll just fly right by it. So adjusted that up a little bit so it comes down, catches a little, and then drops to idle. And so far I think we're doing pretty good. Let's see how just straight up start works. That's not too bad. So 
So I'll probably run it like this for a little while and make sure everything's running halfway decent. And once everything's good to go on there and it can take over daily driver duty, then it's time to start on the uh, Crossfire. So, short little update. Hopefully we'll get rolling on that before too long so we can keep getting some more content flowing through. But for now, that's probably it for today. Thanks for stopping by, and I will catch you guys later.